All right, this video is going to go over uh, what a trade war is and whether it's going to affect you or not, uh, if it's a big deal that the media is making it out to be or possibly in the future. So basically, a trade war is a movement away from our current more free trade system. And so what that means is that goods and services can cross international borders in an unrestricted fashion. Typically, there's no tariffs or quotas preventing that from happening. So if we look at a, a pretty simple example, you can imagine country A and country B. Country A may be really good at producing apples, ships them to country B. Uh, country B may be really good at producing burritos and ships them to country B. So you could imagine that country A has a comparative advantage in apples, country B has a comparative advantage in burritos, they trade, in theory everybody's better off, consumer and producer surplus is maximized, we're good. Now imagine country A starts to enact some protectionist policies. So they say, whoa, 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 our burrito producers cannot compete on the global market. We're importing all of these cheap burritos from country B, and our domestic burrito producers just can't compete. What can we do? Well, we can impose a tariff on burritos. So country A imposes tariff on burritos. And so basically what they say is, okay, country B is taking advantage of something that country A doesn't have, which allows them to sell burritos at a much cheaper price than country A can produce them at. So they put a tariff, which is essentially a tax, on their burritos. And what that does is it allows the burrito manufacturers in country A to compete. They can sell their burritos for a little bit more because now there's this tariff or tax. But country B says, whoa, whoa. We had an agreement. We had a free trade agreement. I import your apples. You import my burritos. Everybody's better off. So what they do is country B imposes a retaliatory tariff. on apples. So all of a sudden burritos have a tariff and now apples have a tariff. So there's this retaliatory tariff on apples and so now country B can have its domestic producers of apples do a little bit better because now the imported apples are going to be at a higher price. Maybe you see where this is going. Country A says, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing putting a tariff on my apples? I'm going to retaliate by putting another tariff on another good. So you can imagine that the world isn't this uh, cut and dry or clear cut. Instead of just apples, it could be apples and oranges and soy and corn and papayas and mangoes and whatever. And instead of just burritos, you could have tacos, hamburgers, movies, Harley Davidson motorcycles, etc. It could be all sorts of different things. And so the countries just go back and forth slapping these tariffs on each other. And all of a sudden you have a trade war. So are trade wars good? I, in general, no. There are specific situations, like if you're an apple producer in country B, you, you like this trade war because now you get to sell your apples at a higher price. But everybody who doesn't sell apples in country B is going to be worse off, specifically the burrito producers. They're not going to be able to sell nearly as many burritos, so they're going to lose a lot from this trade war. Uh, in general, trade wars, not good. They reduce total surplus in both countries. It's a movement away from free trade, which is generally seen as improving most people's standard of living. Uh, but it is a popular policy initiative uh, to show that these policymakers are trying to create jobs in their home country.